Okay, in this video I would like to tell you about the cameras in uh, Samsung and how to uh, change the viewpoint. So, I'm going to uh, close this window here and I'm going to press the shift key and you see that when I press the shift key a circle appears in the viewport and if I click on the left mouse button inside this circle then the camera is in trackball mode. Okay, so basically you can imagine that the viewpoint is rotating around this center here. Okay, if I am outside now, so I press shift and the left mouse button, but I click outside the circle, then I am in orthogonal rotation mode, meaning the camera rotates around the axis that's orthogonal to my screen and is centered here. If I now press shift and use the right mouse button, then I am in translation mode. And basically the camera is panning following my mouse. And finally, if I press shift and I use the mouse wheel, then I zoom and I unzoom on the molecular system. Okay? So in summary, shift left mouse button inside is trackball mode, outside the circle is orthogonal rotation mode, shift right click is translation mode, and shift wheel is zoom and unzoom. So in Samsung, shift means camera. Now, if I want to center the camera on a specific atom, then I press shift and I double click on this atom. And so I can use this to navigate from part to part in the molecular system. Okay. And whenever the camera is centered on the atom, then if I rotate the molecule, the view rotates around this atom. Okay, So, shift double click on an atom or a bond centers the camera on this atom of this bond. And in the case of a bond, it centers the camera on the middle of the bond. Okay, Now, if I want to have a full view of the molecular system, I press shift space. So, if you lose the molecule, you press shift space and it, com it comes back into view. Okay. Now, the thing is that shift space centers the camera on the selected parts. So, if I select these three amino acids, for example, when I press shift space, the camera is centered on these amino acids. I could select this one now, I don't know where it is yet, but I press shift space and the camera moves to this selection. If nothing is selected, then the camera is centered on the full view. Okay. So, I can have several cameras in a document. Here I have camera 1, but I can actually go to visualization camera and add camera I can give it a name just call it camera 2 now to have a second camera with a default starting position so I can use the same uh, methods to control my position so let's say I want to center the view on this atom here and I can stop using this camera and switch back to this other first camera. So I set it as the active camera and I now have the view and I can switch from one camera to the others. And uh, if it makes it more clear for me I can just rename them. So let's say close up view here and global view here. Okay. So I switch between these two cameras to um, manipulate the view. 
Okay, that's it for cameras. So again, camera is always shift, left click, rotation, right click, translation, mouse wheel to zoom and unzoom, shift, double click to center the view on an atom, shift space to center the camera on the whole system or on the selection. Thank you very much.